Hello, hello. Welcome for another episode of the Author Spotlight. Hey, it's your man, Darren Ian Palmer, the host with the most excited to be with you for another fascinating episode where I go behind the scenes with those who are change agent thought leaders, who are planet shakers, and you're able to hear from your favorite authors behind the scenes. And so I have on today, uh, Christy Tursnick is a motivational speaker who shows people how to connect with who they truly are. She knows them, she shows them how to shine light on their shadows, understand that mindset is everything, and to show up as a powerful creator in their lives so they can create a life they do not need to escape from where every day can feel like a day at the beach. She inspires and equips people with practical tools that the desire to etch away rough edges and implement personal changes required to live a happier, healthier, and more fulfilling lives. Christie's number one best-selling book, Mindset Magic, using scientific spiritual principles to create your life, has been endorsed by Michael Bernard Beckwith. She holds a master's degree in metaphysics, bachelor of science degree in biology and metaphysics, is an ordained minister and a, a consulting hypnotist who has been helping people improve their lives for nearly two decades. Come on now. I love that. Christy lives in Wisconsin with her husband, daughter, and four cats. I just want to welcome you to the show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule, ma'am. Oh, absolutely. Thanks so much for having me today. It's going to be a great discussion. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have you on. Now, I want to get right into it. This number one best-selling book, Mindset Magic, Using Scientific and Spiritual Principles to Create Your Life. Please, with your background, what made you go with this book first, uh, Christy, if you don't mind asking? Absolutely. When I decided to write this book, I had actually had um, two significant life events that had happened within a very short period of time. Uh, the first one was the birth of my daughter, um, and then about a year and a half later, followed by the death of my father. So those two significant, you know, opposite spectrums of life really caused me to start um, asking myself the deeper questions of, of why are we here? What is the purpose of life? How does it work? And all of that, uh, you know, that sort of thing. So I knew that at some point, looking down at my baby girl, that she would start asking those questions, and I wanted to have answers for her. So this book is really my journey of, of understanding all of those things. So, you know, with my background, I had a lot of the, the biology, the scientific understanding, um, but I knew I needed to, uh, you know, enhance it with the spiritual aspect because something was, uh, was missing with that. So the book is a blending of what I had discovered of, you know, the science and the spirituality and how they combine to really uh, show us that we're the powerful creators in our life and how we can truly make miracles and magic in, in what it is that we're experiencing. Awesome. I love that. I love that so much. And, you know, I'm just thinking about that, uh, you know, how you, you know, must have felt because I've dealt with some issues, especially with my dad and, and I also know the birth with the children. I'm able to be a proud dad of four. Uh, and so just imagining you going through that all at the same time, like, you know, you're giving life here on one end, but then you're losing somebody that's so significant uh, a part of your life and how you turn that into a positive and look forward to passing on how your daughter can learn from this and answer those type of questions. You know, I know it's one thing that you want to do a book, but what made you believe that you could write a book when so many had failed at the task? You know, I didn't even think about the failure aspect. I knew that it was important for me to do this, not only for myself, um, but for my daughter. Um, and that was really the motivation for everything. Um, I wanted to have, you know, that, that thing that I could, you know, really go to to have that, that foundation and, you know, offer that clarity. So it took me quite a long time to, you know, to finish the book. And I had to do a lot of my, my writing and my research um, during nap times, <laughs> you know. So I, I squished it all all in and uh, you know it was a long long process um, but definitely it was worth all of the effort and then when you talked about a long process could you kind of could you share with us like what was that time frame for you what was what was that tenure for your idea to actually you know there's not an saying when the book came out let's just look at it towards getting that full rough draft done yeah it was about five years actually so it it happened you know um i think when I really started to, to percolate with that idea, it was 
um, about two years after my daughter was born. And then like just the writing and trying to fit it into my life. And then for a while, I think it was about a year and a half, I set it off to the side and just wasn't focusing on that. Um, and then I felt that inner calling again, and I knew that I had to get back to it. Um, and it, you know, it, so it, it's been a process of really dedicating myself to it, of writing when I didn't want to write, um, and just knowing that um, the words and the, the flow would come. You, you know, I'm thinking about what you're sharing here, and I thank you for your transparency, because I want those who are listening, you know, you see, wow, uh, number one, you know, bestseller, and oh, wow, bet we're signed off on it, and oh, man, uh, you, you're hearing all the accolades and all that, but this is the importance of going behind the scenes. You didn't know it took five years. You didn't know she didn't come up here and, and don't get, don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I know she's, she's on board and everything, but she is a wonder woman here. You know, she is amazing. She's doing amazing things, but at the same time, she was able to show you too, that I have some faults just like you all have, but I overcame them. So whenever you see someone, this is a real leader here because she's giving you the real blueprint. We don't all have it all figured out because I'm the host of this show and the company I have and all that, the companies we have, that doesn't mean that I don't have a, a downtime, so to speak. And it doesn't mean that I don't lay some to a side and have to come back, get rejuvenated, recalibrate, get myself back lined out in alignment who I am in the universe and move forward towards who I'm called to be. So for those of you who might feel like that you're struggling or you feel like you're not where you're supposed to be, even here with this young lady, you can understand and know that she's not just the number one best-selling author for or for no reason. She got up off the mat. She got up off when life hit her with some of the strongest punches with her dad, the passing, the transitioning of her dad, with her having to you know tackle this thing called motherhood. Um, that's something that's uh, new that she had to tackle on. She hadn't you know that she know of in this life that had done it. She had to relearn that. So no matter who you are, you have to overcome obstacles in life. Do you agree with that, Christy? Do you, do you agree with that? Oh, yeah, you're, you're spot on with that. And I think that no matter who you are, you're always going to have something that will challenge you. You know, that's something that makes it more difficult for you than what you would like. And that's where you really have to dedicate yourself to your big why. Like, why am I um, putting myself through, you know, the, the process of writing a book? Like, what is that thing within me that wants that full expression? And is it worth it to overcome the obstacles and the difficulty uh, to make that happen. I love that. And, you know, and, and speaking of that, could you share with our audience the, it was that five year tenure to get it done, but could you share with us in the productive seasons and time of you creating the content for your book, share with us the hacks. How did you do it? We, we know that you're a mother. We know that you're married the whole nine. So how did you find time in your busy schedule to get this done? Was it getting up early? Was it voice recordings? Just share with us what, what did you do to allow for you to be successful in creating content? Yeah, what I found very helpful for me was uh, during those times when I knew I had a certain amount of a lot of time that I could dedicate to it, which typically was about an hour uh, for me, um, I did as much research as what I could. Um, so just doing as many readings of you know, books and things like that to gather everything. Once I felt like I had um, enough of that information to start gathering my own ideas and putting it together, then I found myself um, doing a lot of late night writing. Uh, you know, after um, everyone was asleep, um, I was busy doing the work. Um, and, and again, like I didn't always want to be doing it, but I made myself sit there and I told myself every time that I sat down, I was going to be doing at least like a half an hour. Like I gave myself that specific time. And no matter what came out, I would just allow myself to put something on, you know, on paper or on the computer. Um, and that process allowed me to really connect with the truth of what I was trying to say. Because, you know, as you're typing, like the words um, sometimes don't feel right. So you search and you find those things. And then once you find that hook, then you just follow that and it will guide you to where it needs to go. I love that. Guiding you on where you need to go. But the but the real thing that I want those who are listening to get from this is extract. Think about it. Can you at least get a sentence down? Can you start with a thought? Can you expound upon that? Don't think that it's going to be done just in one day. You know, I see some people get frustrated. I've been right. How long you been right? I've been writing a month. 
And I still haven't got where I want. Like, come on, seriously? I mean, I'm a, I'm a CC. I mean, you know, I, you know, I mean, I see people who are really fr frustrated and giving up on life because they've been writing a month or two and they feel like the book is just not coming to me. Just keep creating. Keep mm -hmm. writing it down. You can sort it out later on. You, the, the resources, the universe will bring the right people and you, you start having the law of attraction. When you start moving, they say, you know, you'll start finding editors or you'll start finding the right resources. Don't think that you have to have everything figured out. Stop getting caught up on the how and just oper operate with what you have in your hand. You at least can start with something. You at least can say, hey, I want to write a book. You at least can start with trying to get an outline done. And looking at some potential titles, you can at least say, OK, well, hey, you know, what is something that I went through that might be your personal story or journey? OK, what can I extract to take out of that? That could be beneficial or transferable skills that could benefit somebody else of some things that I went through. I think that would be solution or in it. And so no matter who you are, you have something to share. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah, we all have that, you know, that specific knowledge that is just our own because of our, our experiences, our, our, our knowledge that we have gained. So we all have something special that we can share with the world. It's just allowing yourself to tap into that. And, you know, like to speak to what you were saying, it, when you're writing, it doesn't always have to have that sequential flow of things. You know, just write down your thoughts. And then later is when you're going to be going through and trying to make sense out of all of it. But when you're just starting out, like just go with where that, that flow is. Um, and, and as you said, you know, the universe will definitely guide you. You know, I was guided to find um, two of the most uh, critical books that were helpful for me. Um, just they appeared free at the library for me, just on a shelf, like waiting for me. Uh, come yeah, on. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It was remarkable. And like they were exactly what I needed at that point. So it, it's really just commit to the process, know that you will be finishing this book at some point, right? And just give yourself that permission to trust that it's all going to work out for, you know, for the best. Okay. Now I got to ask, I'm going off script here a little bit, you know, yeah. help me, Krista, will you, could you share a little bit because you are an expert in this area, but could you share with our audience? Because I know some people say, okay, here's Darren goes. He, I didn't know all this stuff about you. I'm going to be honest. And then when I was reading some of the stuff as we were getting ready to do the show, I was like, wait a minute. This is not an accident that I'm, that I'm having her on this interview. Even though a member of my team, quote unquote, found you on here, so to speak, and had on there. But I know when I do my affirmations about the certain things and people that I'm asking to come into my vortex or come into my life that I'm looking at. Then I'm looking up there and looking like, wait a minute. I'm looking at all your stuff about you. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Here it goes again. Where just like you talking about those books showed up, you know, to most people think, oh, man, it just showed up. It wasn't an accident that those it wasn't an accident that those books just showed up. But could you share with people whether it's writing or uh, and, and we're talking about writing, but how if they're folks in how somewhat a little bit how the law of attraction can work in your favor if they don't get so caught up on the how. Like you, you started where you have and then you attracted the right resources, the right people to help mm -hmm. you bring um, this into existence, which you have right now for as the number one selling book. Could you share a little bit about your studies, your expertise on that? Oh, absolutely. And this is really the topic of what uh, my book is. Mm -hmm. um, so the scientific aspect is really understanding how your mind works. So when you're telling yourself a thought or affirming some sort of idea, like I want to write a book, you are directing your subconscious to find all of those things in your environment that are meeting and matching that expectation. Everything that is out of alignment of that expectation literally falls away from your conscious awareness. Like you're, you literally cannot see that. Um, so then what happens is your subconscious is on the lookout in your environment, finding all of those things and bringing them forward into your awareness. So at the same time then, um, energetically, because at the essence of everything that is in the world, um, we're all energetic beings. Um, and, and things, right? So it doesn't matter what you are, if you're a rock, if you're a person, if you're you know, a tree, like you all have that underlying energy. So when you are having that expectation and that alignment with what it is that you want for yourself, then you are in vibration with all of those other things that are on that same energetic wavelength. And the universe literally like rearranges and folds itself to bring those opportunities and experiences to you. So, and this is where the science and the spirituality come together because we're co-creating, you know, our job is to really get clear on what it is that we want. 
say yes to those opportunities and know that the universe is bringing it forward to us. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes to all of that. You know, just like I was taking a multiple choice test back in the day in school. You know, D, all the above, D, all the above. I'm glad other people are hearing it. It's not just coming from me. She did it so well. But she wrote the book on it, so you yeah. can at least trust that uh, somewhere. But that's it. When you're getting focused on what you want, like it's no accident that she's on the show today. I'm talking about the things that I'm bringing into my vortex, the things that I'm focused on, the people that I want in my life, and they keep popping up. I know people keep saying, like, my circle looks totally different than it looked years ago. And I'm just looking at the wonderful people that I have in my life. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. Look at all these brilliant, amazing people that I'm able to be connected with. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I didn't have it all figured out. But one of the mediums that this was able to be channeled through was this show that I have. Mm -hmm. It came up. And it was just like an aha, pivot. And so I was like, you know what? Off the spotlight. It, you know, like, the universe kept bringing it to me. And I was like, man. Hmm, that's good. I already had some other shows, and so I'm thinking to myself, but it's something about this that I that we created, and so I've been privileged and have the honor just to be able to have individuals just like yourself who are just teaching us so much, and uh, I had to just take that pause, that universal pause, so to speak, for those to understand that this is real. What she's teaching in this book is real. Like, I mean, I'm living proof of it. That is real. Mm -hmm. I mean, I you know, some people, it's People aren't crazy. You have to get in the loop because you wonder why you're getting certain things, but you're creating, like she said, you're, pro you're creating the situation where you are right now. You created it. And if you don't work on those paradigms, if you don't, if you don't, you know, restructure your mind the right way or focus on the thoughts that you want and get clear on what you want, you're going to keep getting the things that you say you don't want, but you don't realize that you are the one who's actually creating that. It's not the president, it's not the prime minister, it's not the chancellor, it's not your wife, it's not your kids, it's you. You create the life that you want. Do you agree with that? Yes, absolutely. And you said one very important thing that i just like to uh, highlight. You said that you kept on getting that nudge or that thought of mm -hmm. you know, having this platform. And that's the way that you know, our spirit and, and our, our inner self um, guides us, you know, is responding to those inner whispers that we hear because that's really where we're going to be able to shine because that's how we're meant to present ourselves to the world. So saying yes to those opportunities, that's really how you start to activate all of those things too is because then you're in alignment with the truth. Wow. You, and, and I love what you shared too about that, that energy. We're all, we're energy. You know, it's, 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 it's coming from that source power. And so, wow, I'm just excited about this. Now, now then share this with us. Would you, being a published author, could you share with us some of the benefits, some of the experiences that you've had from that? Uh, would it be, how has it changed your life? Would it be through testimonials that others have sent to you about the content you've written? Would it be um, from as a mother perspective or even being a wife? Could you just share some of the things that you've experienced by being an author now? Yeah, there, there have been several ones that I think have been very significant. Um, the first one is a very personal one. I have had a tremendous sense of um, self-confidence and self-belief in myself, knowing that um, I was able to create this and, and put it out there and have it be successful. It really allowed me to trust in myself and, again, those guidance, those you know, guiding um, you know, nudges that you get. So I've learned to trust that more than I had in the past. So that's a, a significant one. Um, the second one is being a, you know, a published author. It really helps to open up doors and having you uh, being viewed as that expert because you have that book. You know, it means that you've dedicated a certain portion of your life to putting this together to help serve other people. So that really helps to, you know, get you on other platforms and to increase the exposure of the message that you're trying to relate to the world. Um, and then related to my daughter, um, when the book was published, um, she was there when I got the proof of my, my book. Um, and I, uh, you know, had her um, like video record me like opening up the box and then I turned it. So I was having the video on her when she was looking through the book and just have her share her thoughts. And it was a beautiful transformation, I think, in the way that she witnessed me. Um, because like, wow, this is really weird, but this is really cool that mom just did this. Um, so it kind of put me up a, a couple notches in her view. Um, it allowed her to see me in a different way, um, you know, than other people, uh, that other people do and that she might not have. 
without that. But I think it's a really great, uh, you know, opportunity for you to really um, put yourself in that position so that you are um, shining more of the the message that you want to relay to the world in that book form so it's very tangible so people can reference it. Um, you know, I've had people say, you know, this is a very um, powerful piece of work that you have put here and I go back to it. I've, I've highlighted things like that. And, and I'll be honest, like some of the passages that people have um, read back to me, I have no idea how they got into the book because, because it's, it sounds like it, where it was just in the flow. It sounds more of like that divine guidance that was coming through. Um, and that happens when you are on the right path, you know, when you're speaking the truth, that it all just starts to, to flow. So um, if I could sum it up with one word, I think it's just really trust in, you know, in yourself and the processing and the belief in your message. Like it, it all is such a beautiful, important thing. You know, Chris, I just think about what you're doing here and um, it's just amazing. It's just amazing just to see here you are writing this top selling book and, you know, most people wouldn't believe that you would have any issues with trying to have confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, most people, that's why I love this behind the scene type conversation is because a lot of people think, oh, she had it all together. Uh, that's how she wrote the number one book because she had all the confidence in the world. But you shared the latter. You shared that no, by writing the book and accomplishing that great feat, it gave me confidence. So for those of you out there who, who are looking, stop thinking that you have to live your life to the end and then write a book because that will prove that you have done something in life. The book can open a door for you so you can be able to cut the corner, so to speak, from taking forever or using somebody else's ide ideology of how they think the world should go or how long it should take you to have success. That could be the thing that can be a catalyst to get you to the next level or to the new dimension by listening to that nudging or listen to the universe telling you to do something. Just like Christy did, just like I did. You have to move forward with something. No one ever told me that, hey, Darren, it was time for you to do this show. It wasn't like it was some off indeed.com that said, hey, we're looking for a guy that can do a podcast and he has to have a Southern draw like Tim McGraw and his name had to be Darren and, you know, had to have Paul Macchiato like he's that Starbucks skin color and he could get it done. No, nobody didn't say that. Believe it or not, Chris, nobody didn't say that. But at the same time, by listening to the universe is allowed for her to be able to create the existence that she wanted to have. It allowed me to create what I want. Now, I know I'm going to get some mail and people are going to be like, oh, Darren, here you go talking crazy. But I got an expert on here today. So even if you don't believe anything that I say, get the book and make sure that you find out for yourself. And by the way, could you share with us how can we get the book? How can we connect and learn more about you, ma'am? Oh, absolutely. So my book is uh, available on Amazon, so you can get it there. You can also uh, find it on my website, which is powerful-mind.com. Um, it's right there front and center on the page okay awesome 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 now I, I got a special request is it any way if i get it off the website could i get a personal autograph copy Ooh, i would be happy to do that for you absolutely awesome 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 now awesome you know they say you have not because you ask not so I'm, I'm believing in the law which i'm bringing it to my vortex baby i'm bringing it to my vortex here you heard it here first on the author spotlight yeah but i'm so excited about that and if you don't mind Share with that person out there, Christy, that they're seeing you. It's hard for them. You're, you know, you're, 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 you're a best-selling author. They're looking at all the accolades, and they're thinking, like, okay, wow, this woman, she's married. She has a wonderful life. She's uh, brilliant. She's beautiful. She has a, a, a you know, extraordinary daughter. She just has it all going on. And they can't actually visualize right now in themselves or imagine themselves being where they want to be but they know they have a story inside and they're feeling that nudge that you and I both have felt before, but they're second guessing themselves. They're dealing with that paradigm. They're dealing, dealing with that lack and limited thought. Could you share with that person out there the importance why they should move forward and share their story with the world? Absolutely. What I would say to them is that you have that inner nudge uh, for a reason. There is a, you know, that inner calling that we had talked about that is wanting to have that expression through you. So if you have the ability to have that idea, then within you, you innately also have the ability to bring that 
into manifestation, into form. Like it's, it's two, two sides of the opposite of, of the same point, right? So just the fact that you have that desire means you also have the ability to bring it in. So trust that you don't have to figure out like how to do that. Like let that, uh, you know, be part of the, what the universe does and, and just say yes to those opportunities that come, but begin to shift your awareness to being more open to receiving some of that guidance of saying, this is what I want. I don't know the way yet, um, but I'm willing to see what the way is and allow it to unfold. Um, and remembering too, that what you are experiencing in today's moment is not a reflection of what you're thinking of right now. It's a reflection of what you were thinking of, you know, yesterday or a couple months ago. So if you start in this moment to choose better thoughts, which are going to be helping you to start to put this book together, to have that confidence to create this masterpiece for yourself. You know, your, your some days, it starts today, right? You know, it, it all begins in this moment once you decide that this is something worthwhile and giving yourself that permission to really step into who it is that you're meant to be and to shine your light, uh, you know, and, and bring this message to the world. Woo! I feel like the great Alicia Keys. This girl is on fire over here today. I'm telling you right now, Christy, I mean, you did an excellent job. I'm just, but I just want to make sure I got that quote right, which you shared just a minute ago. You said, because you have the desire, you have the what to get it done. What, what did you say? Because, because you have the desire, you also have its opposite. You have the ability to bring that desire into form, um, okay. into you know, its manifestation. Because they're the, the opposite sides of the same point. Mm, I love that. I love that. And your someday starts today. Mm -hmm. Man, oof. Girl, that's like Campbell's soup. That's mm -mm good. That's mm -mm good, girl. That's mm -mm good. You got it going on with that one. Yeah, I'm so I'm so excited to have you on. Definitely, I want to connect with you on more things. I will make sure you go and get this book. If you need to go on Amazon and you go to a website, I'm going to get mine personally signed by and make my order today. So I can have mine in the mail because I really believe just just one thing for me. Could you share with me what are some of your thoughts when it comes to metaphysics or it comes to understanding the law of attraction? What, name a few books that have been inspirational to you to lead you on this journey that really open you up into the power of the universe. Oh, uh, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. That's you know definitely a powerful one. Um, one of the more recent ones that's been significant for me has been Wayne Dyer's The Power of Intention. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and really any, any of Wayne Dyer's, like I absolutely love, um, and some of, you know, just the, the classic ones, um, Florence Scovel Hill has several books, um, that, uh, they're, oh gosh, they have to be nearly 75 years old at this point. Um, but they're very straightforward, very clear. Um, I think one of them was called winning at the game of life. Um, and that one was a very significant one um, that helped me with the book. All right, a game of life. Have you read any of uh, Goodard's? Uh, Neville Goddard. Um, yeah, I, I've just Goddard started to, yeah to dive into some of uh, some of his as well as uh, like Thomas Troward's. Um, mm. uh, yeah, some of the uh, um, the founders. Yeah, 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 man, that's powerful, powerful. Okay, then I had to get that in. I had to get that in. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to be selfish on her, but I'm focusing on what I want. I'm focusing on what I want, so that's why I'm. I got to get to the next level right now. So I just want to thank you so much, Christian, for coming on, taking time out of your busy schedule to pour into our audience. You definitely didn't disappoint. I know the universe brought you here today. That's why I didn't take it out. I got my notepad out. Y'all look at that. See, I'm taking notes over here. If y'all don't want to get it, I'm going to make sure I get mine on the show if y'all don't get y'all's. But uh, definitely it's been an honor having you on the show. Thank you. Do you have any last words that you want to share with the audience before we get off? I'm just going to remind everyone to remember that you're here for a purpose. You're here with a purpose and the world needs you to show up in the way that is meant for you to do it. So if that means writing a book, give yourself that opportunity to start writing so that you can meet, uh, you know, meet that need that so many people have because there are so many people that are waiting for exactly what it is that you have. So you just have to say yes to that opportunity. Awesome. 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 Hey, she said it. Make sure you go get the book. Thank you once again, Krista, for coming on. And I want to just say to those of you out there who are listening, who are tuning in, it's about you. You all are the real MVPs. You are creating the life that you want. And when you're taking time out of your schedule, we already know that you're starting to get the positivity in your life. You're focusing on the positive because you could be watching some reality TV show or something else. 
that might not get you where you want to by but listen to experts just like Krista and having her pour into you to getting you closer to changing your mindset and getting the right positive thoughts in your mind to start today to make the right moves your next move your best move so on that note remember that this is the year for your new book until the next time be great and be the change thanks so much Christy thank you so much for having me